Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for another plan with me. I am doing my first voiceover for a plan with me today, uh, but uh, I should probably sound a little nasally. I have some sinus issues happening this morning. So anyways, uh, I didn't have any time to do a talk through, um, but I wanted to still film this because I didn't want to skip a week. I want to try to keep it up. So we'll see how long it lasts, but for now, this is what we're doing. We are using the Glam Planner December 2021 Mystery with a mix of silver foil, both from the Mystery and uh, there's the Alicia Craft bottom washi that I used. And then I also used uh, Happy Sticker Designs overlays that you can use Christina 15 for 15% off and my freebie. And then I also, what else did I use? I used SVC underlays. SVC icons. I use some Caress Press um, from a script sheet from her bundles. I think that's all I used foil wise. I think so. And then I also did uh, foil on the date covers. I like that, but it's definitely hard to get it perfect. Even though when I think it's not perfect, it still looks okay because it's kind of like a shadow. So, anyways, that's what I did foil wise. Um, so let's go ahead and just start talking about the week i think oh one more thing right now i am doing Jinjoy plans's tall box hack with the big boxes it's not perfect <laughs> um i didn't cut it quite uh the width quite right so it's a little bit wide but i thought that it was okay it did pretty good um and then it wasn't perfect too because of like the angles with the house i thought it looked kind of funky but i still think it looks cute and then I also cut off some of the bottom of it because I just thought it was too tall and I wanted to make sure that I could fit my two boxes and my two full boxes um, to mark both the kit name and something that happened during the week. So there is that. Anything else to say about the base? I did do deco at the top. Um, I love using her like color dots. I think it works really well because she doesn't include a ton of uh, like of the art deco. So I really liked that. So yeah, and then I did some um, snowflakes from Alicia Craft. The January script that I used is from Happy Sticker Designs again. Uh, some of my uh, snowflake overlays are from Scribble Prince Co. So yeah, let's just talk about the week. Um, I'm not sure how good I'm going to do with this or if I'm going to cut super early. Uh, who knows? <laughs> this is for my first try. And we'll just uh, see what happens. So on Monday, it was MLK Junior Day. So I marked that just with a little thing uh, by itself. And then also I did have the day off, which was super nice. And I slept in. Uh, so the day off, I just did it on a patterned label. I really like that because the day off script is very long. And then I slept in using uh, Letters to Apollo, I think. And then a Carly Clans icon. Then I did a whole bunch of YouTube stuff that day. I filmed, edited, and uploaded the plan with me from last week, and I did the kit collection videos, or some of them anyways. Also on Monday, I had finished laundry on Sunday of the week before, so then today I thought it was a great day to do our bedding and our sheets. So that is what I did. I got it all done in one day. We made the bed. It was great. I was so proud of myself. <laughs> I always put laundry back. I always just dread doing it. So I was really on top of it this week and I was proud of that. Then we did a quick little grocery run and we cooked dinner and then I just did some planning that night. I also got the Planet Fancy Holiday Box Happy Mail on Monday. So I think I have that saved in a highlight on my Instagram if you're interested in seeing that. On Tuesday, I went to work, of course. It's just been such a busy month. Uh, January is our busy month, so it was just crazy at work this week, and, and basically until we finish out February is just so busy. So I went to work, and then our dog stayed home again by herself. She's been doing so good. I'm so proud of her. Um, she's again by herself today, so I hope that she's doing okay. And then... I also booked our hotel, so we, in February, we're going to a conference that I had for my business fraternity uh, in college, so I'm going, like, as an alumni, and my boyfriend's coming with me, uh, so I booked the hotel for that, and then we 
made muffins and also cooked breakfast so there were a lot of dishes in the kitchen um my boyfriend's mom came over for a little while and just hung out too and played with Cairo and all the things uh we had breakfast for dinner which we've been doing a lot recently we were at the store I don't know probably a month ago at this point and we were just grocery shopping and then all of a sudden we were like we want breakfast (laughs) so uh we've done it quite a few times since then but it's always just so good and then, of course, Kyrie wants to play fetch so much lately now that she's staying home and getting less playtime from when she was at daycare. So we played fetch for probably like two hours just straight. She brings it to me. I throw it. She brings it back. I throw it. <laughs> um, and then I'm also planning a housewarming party for myself, which I think sounds weird, but it is what it is. Uh, everybody, like my family and friends and Bobby's family and friends, have been asking to come see the house and, you know, like, what can we get you, that kind of thing. So I did some house party planning, did the invite list, created the Facebook event, all that um, on Tuesday night. On Wednesday, I had a migraine, so I woke up at like 7.30, and I was just in so much pain. Um, I took some medicine, told my boss, like, hey, I don't know what today's going to look like, but I can't work right now. And so I fell back asleep uh, for about two hours, and then I woke up, and I was good to go. I love this new medicine. It's actually not even new to me anymore, but it still feels like it's new. Um, I always forget that it actually works. Uh, so I did this new medicine and I was good to go and went back to working from home. Uh, I think I clocked in at like 10 o'clock, so it was great. It was also very rainy that day, so it could have, um, impacted my migraine. So I don't really know. I know that it was hurting a little bit Tuesday night, but who knows? I don't understand why I have migraines or what's happening. And then after I got done working, we went to the mall with some friends Uh, We were trying to decide what we were doing for dinner, and somebody said, I want Charlie's for the uh, cheesesteaks, and they're, I don't know if they're all only in malls, but they're only in malls near us, so we went to the nearest mall to us, and then we were uh, getting ready to leave, and someone so was like oh I really could use some like chocolate right now and so then we just went shopping <laughs> uh we were literally rocking out the door when someone said hey can we go to the candy store so we went to the candy store we went to Victoria's Secret and just kind of roamed um a couple other places I think we went to Bath and Body and whatnot you know all the fun things in the mall also that mall is not very great I don't love that mall uh, I definitely love some of our other malls in the area better but that was just the closest And then when we got home that night, I organized my entire desk and office area, so it looked so good. I put that on my Instagram story, too. I'm so proud of myself. I kind of reorganized my planner cart and, you know, like what was in reachable distance and what I need to get up for to get to and all of that. So it was really great. On Thursday, I went to work, of course. I had McDonald's for lunch. I need to stop doing that. I say that every week, I think. Um, And then I also went to the nearest mall to work, so a different mall, and did a return that I needed to make to Dick's Sporting Goods um, and just kind of roamed after work um, because I needed to kill some time before I went to a social event for my business fraternity. We have some alumni that get together. So we did um, a social event at a local bar called Sideline. So we went there. Um, On my way home, I FaceTimed my mom because I hadn't talked to my mom all week. And I literally created a list. I was like, Mom, here are all the things that I need to talk to you about. It was so funny. Um, I got home, washed my hair. And then by the time I got home, Kyra was already at my boyfriend's mom's. She decided to have a little staycation at her house. So... And she just got to play around with the two Goldens that are there, and she just loves playing, and everyone loves her. So so that's what happened on Thursday. On Friday, we took out the trash when we got up. Uh, it's supposed to be out by 6 a.m., but we don't put it out because the trash truck always comes at, like, 8 a.m., and we want to make sure that our raccoons don't get in it. So we took the trash out uh, before we left to work, and then I went to work. I had Bread Co. for lunch that day, or Panera, depending on where you are, but in the St. Louis area, it's Bread Co. Um, and they actually messed up my food. I was so mad. Like, I wasn't actually mad. Like, I didn't get mad at anyone, but I was just like, oh, really? So uh, they just, I think they just rung it in wrong when I was in the drive through and started to go back in and waste time and do other things. So that was Friday, and then I 
got home and we just, Bobby and I just did shopping hangout. So we roamed Kohl's, roamed Ross. Um, we just, I feel like every weekend we do this. We just like go shopping because we're bored. Um, so yeah, so I went there, bought some things, and then I ended up returning them on Saturday, but that's a different story. I skipped dinner this day, and then it was also Bobby's cousin's birthday, so I marked that too at the bottom of Friday. On Saturday, I slept in, but Bobby was working, so he was up early, so I kind of had the day to myself on Saturday. So I spent the day of filming. I did the rest of the kit collection videos. Um, so I think all of those are scheduled for the channel, except for maybe one. I can't remember. I might have one left for the kit collection videos. Then I ran errands. I did the return. I bought Kairu some more food. All of the things. I picked up Kairu, and then we had a pizza night. I was working on YouTube thumbnails, so if you scroll through my channel, hopefully the thumbnails are updated. I, I was having some issues trying to get them to update, so I think they all did. And then we watched hockey, and then I started laundry. Um, I didn't fold them until Sunday, but I at least got them all washed and had them dried and everything Sunday morning. On Sunday, we slept in. We decided that Sunday was going to be a little date day, but because Saturday wasn't a clean day, Sunday had to be a clean day. So I folded clothes, we did some tidying up, vacuuming, things like that. And then we headed downtown to go to Union Station. They've redone it in the past few years, uh, and we haven't really hung out there yet. So we decided we would go down there. So we ate there. Um, we had train shed. It was all right, I guess. I was kind of disappointed by the menu. Um, it was expensive, and I felt like it was kind of weird food. I ended up with just a pulled pork sandwich, which was totally fine. It was good, um, but I feel like you have to be, like, in that mindset, depending on who you are, so. Anyways, that was train shed, and then we decided that we would go to the aquarium. The aquarium opened up uh, probably like three years ago or so at this point, and everyone that I've heard go there says that it's not that great. Uh, it's small, the fish are, you know, we don't have any, like, big sharks or, you know, anything like that, so they do have a shark tank, and we thought it was fun. Bobby knows a lot about fish and water and the plants and all of that, so it was still fun, but, uh, I definitely think it'd be more fun, like, with kids, but we just, we're roaming, it's spending the day, and then, so uh, that was the first time that I've actually used that aquarium sticker. I loved it. It was so cute, and then we went on the Ferris wheel. Uh, this was a part of, uh, the Union Station redo, too, so we haven't had a Ferris wheel in forever, I think. Uh, I don't think we've had one since, like, the 1900s, somewhere. Like, I think there's pictures, like, World's Fair or something that, uh, was, had a Ferris wheel. I can't remember. The World's Fair feels, like, not right. I don't know. That was 1904, so who knows? It was also the year that we hosted the Olympics. Anyways, so we went on the Ferris wheel. That was fun. It was cool to see this new soccer stadium from above. Uh, since they, we haven't been there yet, um, they've only had one game there, one actual game there, um, and then also, like, saw where they practice and all of that, so that was fun, and then I, we came home, and I just took a nap, and then watched some YouTube last night, uh, also for the St. Louis Wheel character doodle, I took it from the deco of the Pink Time and Planner Co. Carnival Kit, the mystery from last year, uh, June, July, something, I took it from there, because I didn't have a Ferris wheel doodle and I really thought I did so anyways if you have any questions about where any stickers are from they're pretty much my usual stickers uh, but if you have any questions I will try to help out if you comment that down below also this week oh, looks like I have like four more minutes left what am I going to talk about um also this week I got a four percent raise so that was super nice so I did my finished up my annual performance review um I was really hoping for five but I got four so It'll do. It doesn't equal out to, you know, very much per month when I net pay it, but that's okay. So, um, so yeah, 4% raise. Didn't get a raise in my bonus, but it is what it is. But I did get a really good performance review. I ended up with a 92% of what my bonus potential is uh, for myself. So part of it is uh, based on my performance and part of it is based on like the firm's performance. So my 92% uh, was really good, and I talked, I think I talked about that a little bit last week on what I was getting for that, but this week is when I actually found out my portion of my raise, so my 4% of my raise. So yeah, I think that's all I have. I wonder if I can figure out how to put music to the rest of this, or if I can just uh, talk my way <laughs> through this. 
Um, here, let's go through stickers. Maybe a lot of work. Okay, so MLK Jr. is from Carly Plans. Day off is, or starting on Monday. Day off is from Crest Press Foil Bundle. And then the bed from Sleep In is Carly Plans. Sleep In, I think, is Letters to Apollo, but could be Carly Plans. I'm not sure. The Plan With Me is Stick to the Plan Co., I believe. The Wash Sheets Doodle is the Messy Bed from Carly Plans. Groceries is SPC. The Grocery Cart is SPC. The Cooked Dinner Mitt, I think, is CD Stickers. Uh, cooked Dinner is from Carly Plans. Plan is from SVC. And then the Cloud uh, Icon is from SVC. The Work is from Crest Press on Tuesday. And then the Munchkin is Once Upon a Love. And then the Paw Print is from the Crest Press Foil Bundle. Book Hotel Doodle, I think, is from Once More with Love, I think. Uh, make muffins is from SVC on the doodle sheet. Uh, the breakfast is also uh, SPC. Playtime is SVC, and then the once more with love munchkin with the dog uh, playing fetch. And then the house is from Carly Plans. Migraine is from Olive Studio, who is now Olive Digitals. Sleep in is letters to Apollo. Uh, uh, Teddy Plans Co. Once more with love SPC. And then Carly Plans is the desk. And also Clean Office is Carly Plans. Thunderstorm is from Adorably Amy, Adorably Amy Designs. And I think that covers all of the shops that are included. Oh, the uh, White Husky that is essentially my White German Shepherd on Thursday is PMT stickers. So I think that is everything. I have 30 seconds left. Can I make it? Um... Let's see what else is left. Yeah, I was so excited about the aquarium sticker and I couldn't find the Ferris wheel, so I went with the doodle. So if you haven't already, please like this video and comment down below. I will see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching. Here's a little wiggle for you on the way out with the silver foil and the flame planner.